Hello and welcome to this video about how to kill the scavenger matron in a shrouded. You need her head to upgrade your flame to level 3 and pass through higher level shroud. I will actually show you a bunch of ways in which you can kill her, both kind of the regular way, the hard way, but also a bunch of cheesy ways or fun ways where you don't really risk getting hurt at all. So let's make a deal. I give you four ways to kill the scavenger mother. Three of them being really easy and only one being hard. And you give me one thumbs up. The location of the first scavenger mother you will encounter in the shrouded is here, at the hill of scavengers. For reference, you got the Mistburg catacombs here, this is where you get the queen's tomb quest kind of early on. Here is the ancient spire, the first one you will unlock, and here is the starting base. I am using a character that is level 7, the level you will probably be when you want to upgrade your flame to level 3 for the first time and need a scavenger mother's head. If I would be using a max level character, it simply wouldn't work well for the purpose of the guide. What do we do now? Well, it's up to you. You want to do it the easy way or the hard way? And the hardest way would be to fight fair, of course. And the hardest of the hard ways would be to do it with melee weapons, because she's a lot easier to take with ranged weapons. So let's do it with melee. But a little preparation never hurts. So let's start by resetting skill points. Early game, I don't feel like getting extra strength, constitution or spirit actually helps that much because it doesn't really scale your damage that much before you get other skills on top of it. So I feel like for the early fights it's a lot better to go for endurance and constitution. So we'll grab the endurance over here. We also grab the runner uh, here because it gives sprinting speed and also less stamina consumption for sprinting. Uh, for this uh, particular fight, here's another endurance. I like the snake eater because the scavenger matron deals poison damage. That means that for us, it's also good to grab this one because we get even more poison resistance. But you also get 25% of avoid the poison damage. Uh, we got another endurance point over here. Uh, I also always like the double jump. It's uh, a lot of utility in that. And for the last point, we grab the constitution that we got over here. So some constitution here some constitution here we got six more points to spend so we can grab some extra melee damage over here and also shiny plates for a bit more armor and we got two points le left uh, so let's see what will we spend that on some more endurance up here and i don't think we'll reach any more endurance so let's just go grab one strength there because well one point right you should also prep for the fight by crafting a bunch of health potions at the alchemist. And when it comes to food, the grilled wolf meat gives bonus to constitution. You could go for core knobs for extra strength and a little bit of extra damage, but I actually favor doubling up on stamina. The honey gives a plus 15 stamina recharge, which is great early on, as well as the water that gives plus one endurance and plus two stamina recharge. Not that great, but you can have both water and honey active at the same time. And now it's time for the actual fight. I already ate the meat and drank the water, but I will save the honey for just before the fight starts. The reason is of course that it only lasts for uh, 3 minutes, and I want maximum time on that one. There is a way to get in from the back to the camp, um, you see here. We could of course fight our way in, but that would take a lot longer time, so we'll just skip that and go directly for the main fight. Make sure you have full stamina before you jump into the scavenger mother, eat the honey. And it's time for the fight. We can jump over here. And there she is. Uh, the trick is to keep on the back of her. Because the front is really dangerous. Uh, she does a ton of damage with that poison there. So we'll see if we can actually do like this. Do a little bit of damage. Oh. Always keep to the back of her. You see the pukes like that. That hurts a lot if you do, or if she gets you. So just keep circling her, like this, oops. And it also puts you dizzy for a little bit, so that's also dangerous. Almost got her. And there we go. And this was actually the first time I killed her, so I should finish the quest now. Updated quest log. For this one you need a flame altar, you need a construction hammer and you need something to build with. Again I snuck in from the back. 
Let's jump over here. Grab our flame altar. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to place it, but just with some patience it usually works. Let's see if we can find somewhere where there's no enemies nearby. Just have to have her walk a bit further away. There we go. Grab our construction hammer. Grab a bunch of stairs. Build a bit up in the sky so we have something to stand on. Grab a weapon. And let's position ourselves and aim. There we go. Yeah, you need a bunch of arrows as well. So let's see. She should come walking here. We can go down a little bit so we can actually still aim at her. And there we go. He is dead. And we can grab the corpse here, we get the reward, and also the golden chest. For this one you need explosive powder balls. You can probably also use the pickaxe, but there's kind of a big risk you will aggro the scavenger mother before you're done digging. Uh, we will enter the camp from a different angle this time. Sneak into the camp from a different angle. There are several places where you can sneak into the camp. We we'll probably have to kill that wolf. Wolf meat is always good at this point. Oh, I got, uh, I didn't get wolf meat. Oh well. So, around to the other side. And here, instead of entering, we can jump up here. Up here, up here, and here is the entrance to the scavenger mother. But we're not aggroing her right now. We are going to use our explosive balls and make it a bit harder for her to get to us. So throw it there. Let's remove some ground here. I mean, you could dig this, but like a big risk that you will aggro her while digging. So I think this is a lot easier. All right, let's jump up here. They need a ranged weapon. Doesn't really matter which one. Oh, I probably have to kill this one though, because he got over. There we go. All right, so you can use the wound, for example. Let's see, I have fireballs. That should be okay. Can I hit her? All right, I didn't have that much mana though. So I'll switch to, I switch to the bow instead. Uh, I think, yeah, I will have to switch to the bow. All right, it will take too long with the, with the stuff. And I, I don't think actually the wand uh, will reach from here. Let's try if the wound will reach from here. Yeah, it does, alright. So the wound reaches. We can use the wound here to kill her. That's actually faster than the arrows though. And there we go. And I actually leveled up to level 8 now. So now I'm no longer level 7. This is a quite daring one. For this one, let's sneak in from this side again. No explosives this time. Run in here, and there she is. We just run straight past her. There's a little hole here we can jump through. We could also, of course, snuck in from that side for this. Uh, and this thing, we can actually jump up on top of. And if we stand here, she can actually not get to us. See, we just hit the lower part of this pillar. So that means we're perfectly safe here. Well, not perfectly. The people down there can actually shoot at us. So we can actually take those out first, because that those can be rather troublesome otherwise. There we go. And now we can kill the scavenger mother. There we go. Oops. Oh well. She exploded. So 
that was how you kill the scavenger mother one hard way and a bunch of easy ones. Do you know of other ways to kill the scavenger mother early on? Maybe some fun way that I haven't thought about? Let me know in the comment section here below. Also don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it because it really helps for visibility. Well, cheers!